Hello again, it's Murray. It's uh, June the 4th, lunchtime. Uh, you saw me at breakfast this morning. You get to see me at lunch today. What a, what a treat, eh? Uh, this afternoon, we're going to do uh, another Canadian IMP from 2018, menu number nine, vegetables and chicken stew. I'm uh, going to run through this one very quick. I'm running way behind today. Uh, two more meetings and then more teleconferences. So I'm going to get into this one quick and get through this. Uh, okay, we have a Kit Kat. Have a break, have a Kit Kat. Nescafe, sweet and creamy. Hamburger bun. Hmm, chocolate nut mix. Sounds interesting. Ah, uh, all right, the ice sports drink. I've been wanting to try this one. Beverage bag. Another ice sports drink. Peanut butter. Another peanut butter. Raspberry jam. Frank's Red Hot. Uh, sliced apples for dessert. Awesome. Uh, 253 gram pack of chicken and vegetable stew. And down on the bottom here, we have some red tip matches with our Tic Tacs, our compressed napkin, our spork, and the very, very, very large napkin. So I'm gonna go ahead, get uh, drinks made up, get the main and the FRH, and uh, I did bring an FRH actually from home, because as we know, the Canadian IMPs are shipped separately and mine did not come with them. So once I get this stuff all put together and made, I'll be back. All right, so I've gone ahead and made up the drinks. I made up our uh, ice beverage, give this a try. It's got a very pleasant flavor. I'm not sure I can actually identify it. Almost like a blue raspberry type of thing. But uh, quite tasty. We have our uh, sweet and creamy Nescafe. Again, very pleasant. I'm going to get into the uh, chocolate nut mix. And this contains chocolate coated cranberries, uh, almonds, goji berries, and pistachios. So actually quite a high-end mix. Um, haven't had this one before either, so I'm excited to try this. There's a lot of firsts in this uh, MRE, uh, sorry, IMP for me. So yeah, there's a pretty decent mix of bits and pieces in this. See the almonds, looks like pumpkin seeds. Actually, those would be pistachios. Uh, the chocolate covered um, cranberries as stated so let's give these a try yeah cranberries are nice and soft got a decent chocolate on a little bit waxy but I'm not overly surprised at that but generally overall tasty so there we've got uh, some of the goji berries pistachios and an almond and those are unsalted but uh, flavor is good they're nice and crispy nice and fresh and uh, very very enjoyable so just in again the sake of time I am not going to make up a PB and J I'll put these aside for some time later uh, I do have that uh, hamburger bun heating in with the main once that gets warmed up, we'll bring it out and I'll try something a little bit different with that. So we'll be back once this main is heated up in about another five or six minutes. See you soon. All right, so we've got the uh, main heated back up here now. And this is actually a Baxter's main, which uh, the last one I had uh, on Friday was just a, uh, a non-branded uh, standard Canadian Forces package. So this is nice and warm. First thing I see right on the top of the package when I open it, lots of chicken, 
nice thick gravy. Uh, today I was a little bit smarter and uh, brought a bowl with me. So as I had mentioned, I was going to try something a little bit different. Uh, as you can see, I have put the top of our hamburger bun on there. And to soak up some of this juice, I'm going to simply pour the chicken stew, or chicken and vegetable stew, excuse me, uh, over the bread and hopefully soak up some of those juices. This does appear to be a little bit thicker than the lamb stew was. Uh, hopefully it's every bit as good. So we got that out. And you can see there lots of big chunks of chicken, potato, carrot, pea. So we'll get a get a bite of this. Very nice flavor. A little bit maybe on the salty side. Definitely don't need any salt with this. And just massive, massive chunks of chicken, as you can see. Chicken's a little bit dry, but I expect that of, you know, stewed white meat chicken. So I've got peas, carrots, chicken, and a chunk of that pain hamburger. Not bad. I'm gonna take our package of Frank's Red Hot, put some of that in there, get a little bit of, a little bit of flavor in there, a little bit of heat. And I know I've mentioned many, many times that uh, Frank's is definitely my preference over Tabasco. I just personally prefer the flavor. And uh, see there the nice Frank's on top. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of potato. Yeah, that definitely definitely adds some flavor to it. It's not quite as bland, but you know, chicken and vegetable stew is pretty good one way or the other, but a little bit of flavor and a little bit of heat, that's tasty. So our ice sports drink again. That is very tasty. So I apologize, today's video is going to be very short. Uh, I have to get back to work, get a chance, either on the drive home tonight or a little bit later. I'll break into those, break into our Tic Tacs, and uh, actually just to say I've done it, I have never opened one of these. So our compressed towel with the Canadian maple leaf on it. And I did bring a plate today as well because I wasn't sure whether I was going to need a plate or a bowl. And uh, luckily I brought both. A little bit of water on there. Yeah, looks like I probably absorb a little bit more water. So I'd say that's probably about as absorbed as it's going to be. And uh, continue to stretch it out and unroll it. And uh, decently sized towelette. And I could see where this wouldn't be hugely strong, but still be a nice, fresh, refreshing towelette. So we'll make use of that after lunch. Anyway, this has been the 2018 menu number nine, chicken vegetable stew. Absolutely delicious. Love the ice sports drink. The rich and creamy Nescafe is good. The Kit Kat will be awesome. They're one of my favorite chocolate bars. And uh, the main in here is just absolute comfort food. Put it up over top of the uh, hamburger bun just to soak up a little bit of the juice, give a little bit more chew to it. Um, potatoes are nice, just, just soft, not chewy, and uh, generally very, very good flavor. 
Anyway, folks, we'll catch you soon. Take care and be safe. Actually, we almost forgot our dessert. Uh, Baxter's sliced apples. Uh, I had this in my last IMP, and uh, again, these are very, very fresh. They're very tasty and uh, quite enjoyable to me. Nothing I like better than apples. These look very similar, a nice bright yellow color, fairly firm. These ones maybe not quite as crunchy as the ones I had on Friday. But still quite tasty. Very light sauce on them. But uh, yeah, very tasty. Anyway, have yourself a great day. And uh, didn't forget the dessert finally. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.